Hi, YouTube. So, yeah, I need to talk to you guys real quick. I get a lot of questions all the time about what do I play on? If I use fight stick, what kind of fight stick is it? This, that, and the third. And I need to answer your guys' questions, like, immediately. Long story short, in the process of making this video, literally a few hours ago, I got a follow from IOC Mall, so I have to make this video, and I gotta do it now. So long story short, let's get into it. I have the Make Stick Pro PS3 version, okay? And this fight stick is godsend, and it's modded to fit my needs and what I need to get the best possible gameplay out of the fighting games that I rock with. So what we have here is a Myung Shin Fanta Black 45 basic tension that over time with me playing has kind of gotten a little bit looser, but that's okay. Like it's, it's perfect. I didn't, I didn't mod this stick and this is the main reason why I bought this fight stick. Okay. And the original eight Sanwa 30 millimeter buttons that it came with, I swapped out and modded them for four black silent Sanwa buttons, 33 millimeter as well. And feel that? Hear that? A lot of noise, because these are the regular song buttons, and these are the silent song buttons, which is very, very important, because I would stay up late at night playing Tagging, and then you don't want to wake up the whole house. The original 24 millimeter song start button is the same. I don't know why. When I swapped out the original four over here, for some strange reason, I like this color combination. Like, it's really, really dope. I, I, the red and the green with the red start button, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna change that. It's a funky little layout, so I, I rock with it. The button layout, as far as the lever itself, is a Vulix layout with a slight incline on the pointer and ring finger buttons, and then the rest, they kind of just stay the same. And for me personally, I need, if I'm going to get another fight stick, I need this kind of layout. I really, really like that there's a large gap in between these buttons. It just feels really, really good. And I have a whole bunch of comfort. So Vulix, that's me all day, every single day. If I get like a Japanese fight stick, probably needs a Vulix button layout because this is what I'm accustomed to. At the top right here, to further prove that this is a PS3 fight stick, it does not have a touchpad. We only have select and home at the top. And these are like regular arcade buttons. You know, they're not really special. They're definitely not Sanwa, just based off of the quality and things like that. So I leave that alone. And then when I modded it at the top, I have a detachable USB female connector. So my cord, you know, you plug it in, you plug it out, you kind of wrap up the cord. I prefer this because I don't damage the cord wrapping it around the fight stick or tucking it in and having that case compartment where it becomes damaged. I don't really mess with that. So this is basically the outside, right? The outside of this beauty. Now I need to talk to you guys about the inside, which you don't see. And that is the 4-in-1 Brooks Universal Fighting Board PCB that I installed myself, which I'll probably put a link in the description or maybe a link at the end of the video showing that video because I did install it and upload it to YouTube. I'm proud of me. And so basically with that fighting board, I can play on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Switch, and PC. And because of that, I can do things like this. So yes, all in all, I would say this fight stick fits basically all my needs as a fighting game player, but I'm not opposed to trying out other brands <laughs> if they ever wanted to send some sticks or product to me. But anyway, I don't want to brag on and drag on. I just want you guys to know that this is the fight stick I use and have used for the 10 plus years that I've been gaming and it has not failed me yet. So please. Shout out to ISC Mall. They are amazing. And I hope you guys like this video. I'll catch you in the next one, all right? See you later.